Okay, nice. next, let's learn some techniques for working with sheets. So back here to the tutorial. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, oh, by the way, I'm going to skip this trigger error one. You're welcome to try it out. Uh, moving right along, though, next. Sheets. So I'll start by querying the sheets. All right, this one has caused a few of my students' problems because we've kind of we've started cruising with the copying and pasting. I'm going to show you the wrong way first and then show you why it's wrong here. So here, just we're going to learn a few techniques for doing things like uh, give us a list of the sheets that are in the workbook. Okay, if I run... Excuse me, if I run this code, here's a list of all the sheets. Now, it looks nice and neat, but there's actually a few things going on here. But copy the code. Let's head back over to brackets, whatever you're using. I'm going to come down here and paste it. All right, tab, 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 tab. So it says create a variable called sheets using the workbook object that is a global variable right now. Get to publish sheets info. And here's where people... Uh, kind of stop paying attention or, or, or don't know what's going on. Another variable is created text that calls get sheets alert text. Now what's different about this function and this function? Well, hold on. Let me first of all I'll show you that it's not going to work here and why. I'm going to, uh, yeah, you know what, why not? I'll go ahead and make a line break there. And I should probably break the previous line as so I'm doing this. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to keep, get rid of that line break chain example. Okay, so I'm going to call this one query sheets. Let's run query sheets. Save it. Come back here. Refresh. Query sheets, and nothing happens, right? So you start to wonder what's going on. Let's inspect and see if we can find anything going on over here in the console. Get sheets alert text is not defined. Hmm, okay. So, like I was saying a moment before, what's different about this function and this one? Well, this function is not a method of the workbook object. It's not a method of the active sheet object or the tableau object or any other object in here. It's just a function, which means where did this function come from? Well, go back here. It must be something that they wrote themselves that probably parses out this text that's returned from git publish sheets info. So, if we don't have their text, or if we don't have their function, uh, we're not going to be able to make it come out looking all pretty. So uh, what we could do is alert just this sheets variable right here and see the format that it comes back in if you want to. But instead, let's just go right to their tutorial. Right click somewhere up here that's not in the Tableau area, but in the, in the actual HTML area right there in that little narrow space. View page source, and let's see what they're running here. So here's their link to the Tableau JavaScript API. Uh, here's their jQuery stuff. Look, they've got this tutorial.javascript. They've got some file full of JavaScript that they're using that they've written themselves. Let's scroll down. Oh, look, it's nicely organized for us. And each step, one, two, three, four, five, chain calls, six. Oh, look at this. Function, get sheets alert text. Yep, it's pretty st straightforward. Makes an array variable does some formatting for each object in that variable that gets returned. You know, that's fantastic. Let's just copy that back here to our own code and let's paste it right here below function query sheets. Oops, too far. Okay, beautiful. Let's save that. Now let's refresh this and run it. Query sheets, look at that. Here's all my sheets, beautiful. Okay, let's go on. Uh, let's see, I've got all this stuff now to move. No, I'll leave that right there. Here we go. Okay, that's query sheets, query dashboard. Okay, what does this one do? Here's how you would query worksheets in a dashboard. Notice that the filter is still applied to the GDP per agent worksheet in the dashboard, but the marks are not selected. Okay, got it. So let's query a dashboard. Copy. Uh, there we go. Eh, I'm not going to worry about ordering of this. I'm just going to paste that. Let's see what we're up against here. Um, this is the dashboard. What's our dashboard called? Well, I don't remember, so let's go back here. Let's query sheets again. Dashboard 1. That's what it's called. 
very creative. Okay, so I'm just going to change this one to dashboard one. Now, maybe I better make a button up here on my switch to map that switches to dashboard one. Sales view, map view, dashboard view, so that I can go to the dashboard first. Don't need that extra line break. And then I can run my new fancy new query dashboard function. So this will return all the sheets being used on a dashboard, obviously. There we go, save, refresh. Take your time. Looks like I'm calling it too much. Here we go, go to the dashboard view. I guess technically I didn't really need to even go to this view because I've got the dashboard name hard-coded, but oh well, let's run that. Cool, here's the three sheets being used in this dashboard. All right, let's move on. Okay, next, uh, change dashboard size. All right, this is getting pretty straightforward. Is there anything we're gonna run into? Well, no, let's go ahead and do it. All right, I'm getting lazy, I should do it anyway. So let's change it to dashboard one, the name of our dashboard. Uh, let's see, change size, async, behavior, change, so change it to automatic size. So I'm pretty sure that means it's going to automatically fit the screen. Let's see if that's what happens here on this one. There we go. Yep, it stretches itself out to the width of the screen. Cool. Save. Um, yeah, control D. We'll call this resize dashboard. I should go out to here, I think. Oh no, just, there we go. Resize the dashboard within that space to use the available space. Whereas before we were losing some of the space down here. Cool. All right, that was useful. Let's keep going here. Um, now we're going to select filters and change settings on multiple sheets within a dashboard. That sounds cool. Okay, so grab all of this down to here. Copy, back to brackets, paste. Looks like we have some global variables being defined. Are we missing a function name? Yeah, I think we are. Uh, huh. Oh well, okay. We can add our own. Function do some stuff very scientific. There we go. All right, so it looks like they're going to activate a sheet, um, activate a dashboard, uh, save a couple of the worksheets within the dashboard to variables, um, apply a filter to one of them, apply a filter to another one, clear a filter off one of them, select marks on another. Okay, we can do this. So let's just use our dashboard one from our workbook right here. Let's see here, this sheet, the map sheet, I believe that is called Global Sales and Profits. Can I copy that from somewhere? Here it is, that's the map, right? Yeah, that is. Copy right here. Then it wants a graph sheet. Let's just use our sales by subcategory that we've been using since the beginning. Okay. Um, on our map sheet, we don't have region, we have country. So instead of Middle East, let's pick a country. I'll just do United States. Okay, filter um, on the map sheet. Instead of doing a date, because we don't have a date filled in our data, let's do the sales. Let's grab those where the sum of sales. And by the way, what I'm doing here, uh, I'm applying here we go this format right here but we're doing it we're getting rid of white space and doing it all in one line so i'm going to say uh some sales this is 
if what do I want again? Min and max I'm gonna need. So where the sum of sales is at least, I don't know, 500, and the max is no greater than a bazillion, something like that. Anyway, just pick a number. We just wanna test and we wanna activate the dashboard, select the sheets, select just the United States, select just those where the sum of sales are between 500 and a bajillion, and then clear. Do we have any filters to clear? I guess what was the last filter we ran? Um, on that sheet. Looks like we had a sales filter, but I just did another sales filter. I don't want to do that. Um, category, no. You know what? Let's just forget about clearing filter. We don't need to do... Well, all right, let's clear our off the graph sheet. Let's clear our previous category filter. Oh, that'll work. Then instead, we'll do a new category filter. No, we're going to select marks on the graph sheet, which is not in the map one. That's the sales by subcategory. So let's set, let's select um, subcategory because that's what that's we're showing currently right here. In case you're not following along. We're talking about, whoa, talking about this one right here. These are subcategories. Let's select, I don't know, copiers, why not? Subcategory, oh, I didn't even do it twice, I forget. Copiers. Okay, function, do some stuff. So again, dashboard is used right here. There's our variables. I think it's time to line break. Command D. Um, we'll call this one. Oh, wait, no, I don't need a line break yet. This is still part of that same uh, six or step six. Uh, do stuff. There we go. Very descriptive. All right, let's refresh this thing. All good. Do stuff. Selects the dashboard. Filters the map. Uh oh, struggling with that one. Thinking. Give it a moment. <laughs> a long moment. Tell the public's going slow. Anytime. All right, better pause this while I'm waiting, I guess. Okay, looks like I lost my. Um, had a little trouble. Let's go back to this one. So we had trouble with my apply filter on the sum here. Let's give it a bit of a wider area. Min, max, save that one. Uh, let's go back and try this again. There we go. Select the, there we go. Apply the filter, select the U.S. first. There we go. But then it doesn't like it when I apply my filter. So it does do this, filters on the U.S., and then it doesn't like summing sales to this amount. Well, let's change it a little bit more. Or should we do average? Shit? Nah. Now let's sum sales one more time. I wonder if that's my problem. Okay, do stuff. There we go. Selects that sheet. It selects the U.S. I think it's actually the problem. I think that one was working right there. And the problem was with, was with this guy. Uh, then, and it was returning, and it was trying to clear the filter. I think maybe there was no filter to be cleared. Uh, so rather than clear filter on the graph sheet, Let's apply an asynchronous filter. Yeah, because there was no filter applied to be cleared. So let's instead apply a filter on category. And let's just filter by, I don't know, furniture. There we go. And then after that one, by subcategory, well, that won't work. Um, copiers isn't part of furniture, so we're going to need something that's part of furniture. Tables, there we go. Subcategory tables. Okay, let's try that one out now. Do stuff. 
switch, switch. Okay, this worked now. I did. Um, all right, I had a little problem. Okay. I'm still losing my map here. Let me pause it for a minute and figure out my problem. Okay, so this problem I figured out is having a problem with my sum function. I'm not sure why. Change it to average. I'll have to figure that one out later, but it seems to work fine now when I use an average of sales and I play with my mins and maxes. That works just fine. It's still, however, and it also selects, by the way, uh, or filters on category. Likes that one just fine. But the only thing it doesn't like yet is it won't select tables. So when I hit do stuff, come on, do stuff. There we go. Selects, there we go, the map. Select filters on the US. Um, filters again on a range. And then down here, it does filter on subcategory. I need to resize that dashboard. However, it's not selecting table tables for me like I thought. Subcategory. Uh, maybe I need to include this group right there. Is that my problem? Let's take a look. Uh, let's see here. Subcategory. Sub group. Tables. Let's give that one a shot. And that was it. <laughs> Got to use, oops, let me scroll up here. There, now tables is selected. I um, don't even remember why I have that group on there, but that's the name of this um, grouping of this column. Uh, so I have to use it exactly like it's named. Okay, that one works. Moving right along. And that is all for these sheets. Okay, let's save this and move on to the toolbar.